Now when you're purchasing your rotisserie and rivulator from Gary's Barbecue Supplies, these are the things you're going to get. You're going to get your holder for the rotisserie. It goes right in here. You're going to get the spit right here. Stainless steel. And you're going to get a high quality motor. You get the rotisserie parts. Come in a separate box. Get the instructions. And you also get your template. This goes on your Yoder so that you know where to drill your holes. So let's open this up real quick. You can see it's all packaged well. The parts that come with it. So this is your, your tines and the frame for this motor. So everything you need for the rotisserie is right in this bag right here. There's your bearing surface for the spit. This is a piece for, for clipping this together, your heat shield. And this is the part that slides the motor on too and all your screws and then when you're not using it there's a stainless steel little like a dog tag that will go in place over the hole and of course the stainless steel tines for chickens and turkeys and whatnot so we'll get started with our video here in a few minutes we just wanted to give you an overview of what is included in the kit don't lose the instructions so here's some of the things you're going to need, or hopefully all the things you're going to need to install your rotisserie. You'll need a uh, three-quarter inch unibit, or you can use a three-quarter inch OD hole saw if you don't want to make it too big. Phillips uh, screwdriver. And this is supposed to be uh, 5 30 seconds, but I suspect that's an eighth of an inch. I'm probably going to use another one of these at the right size to make sure that fits, and a quarter inch drill bit. And then this is a quarter inch, uh, quarter 20 uh, rapid tap. And you could just use this instead. I happen to have that, and that's what I'm going to use. And a pair of uh, channel locks, and then of course a drill. Now, I'm just putting the drill here because everybody has a drill. I'm going to use an impact driver, uh, and then I'm going to use this for the uh, Unibit because it has a lot more power. Also, you're going to need a little bit of tape. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your print, we call this a template that comes with it, you put it on either side there, you just take a piece of tape, just tape it so it doesn't move when you're making your holes. So make sure that your template is all the way up against it. And put your drill right there. I'm just going to make a mark here on each one. There's for the three quarters. And here's for your bracket. Right there. And right there. And now you're done with that portion. You take this off now. So now that we've got our four holes marked out, now we're going to take this smaller drill bit and we're going to drill right on through. You don't have to go super fast, just keep pressure on it. Make sure you're right where you need it. And we're going to pre drill all these holes with the small ones. That makes it a lot easier when we go. that one. Now I'm going to do the two lower ones. Like I said, this is a quarter 20 drill tap. Snapping it. 
here. <laughs> top one. And now we're going to switch to the, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'll go with the quarter inch first on the three quarter inch hole because the very bit is. That's done. So now we'll go with the unit. in my ink, my wrist, it does happen to lock up. Remember, we use this small one here to uh, make that hole. And I've got a little bit bigger um, wrap tap here, drill tap. So I'm just going to use that to make that hole bigger and thread it. I hope I don't break it off in there. Okay, so now we're going to, there's your heat shield, your mounting bracket, and then this fits to the smoker. So what you're going to do, it's kind of tricky to get these lined up, just get one stirred here. That's the easiest. One there. Here and then right to there. Take our oops. Let's get this started. Ah, got it going. Good. And we don't want to tighten that up too much. We're gonna line these up. And go for our second one. Took a few minutes of me looking at the drawings to figure out how this went, and then I went and called the manufacturer because <laughs> it wasn't all apparent. So it's a good idea that we made this video. Wiggle this a little bit to get. There we go. Get that started. Now we'll do the other two. And when we're all done here, we'll give them a nice tighten by. Make 
make sure they're all snug. But don't over tighten it because you don't want to strip it out. The metal's not that thick. All right, and that's what it should look like. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install this little plug. It's kind of a plug. Call it a dog tag for lack of a better term. And put that through there and find that little nut. And then we're going to tighten that up back. Now you don't want this super tight because you've got to find just the right uh, place for it because you want to be able to slide this down but you don't want it to be so tight that you can't move it it has to be tight enough to where you when you do move it it'll stay out of the way otherwise you'll have trouble getting your spit through here okay so that's done now we're going to take and mount the rotisserie motor bracket. And it goes at an angle, and people wonder why that is. Well, that's the way the manufacturer designed it, so that when people have it outside, that the rain doesn't go down the vents. So that's the reason for that. Okay. Put the other one. See black. Everything's black. Alright. We're gonna kind of center it in there. And we're almost ready to put this bad boy together. Okay. Now I recommend getting on the back side and putting these nuts on to uh Keep it from vibrating loose. Okay, now that we've got all that taken care of, the hard part's over. And you can see this is a heavy rotisserie motor. It's got a waterproof switch there, or water tight. All, right. so all you've got to do now is slide that on. It's this direction, yeah. This direction, line it up so that the hole is close, and then now we're going to take the bracket that goes on the other end and install that, and that's real simple, as you can see. And now the rotisserie. Comes with a petite protective plastic on it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slide it in here, put it past, and then we're going to put it right in. surface for this thing. So what you gotta do is stand right there. And that is installed. 